So here I am in a cervical neck brace because unfortunately I did something a little foolish, had a bad fall and ended up in a neck brace. I broke two bones in my neck, my C1 and my C2, which are the top vertebrae in your spine. Just looking at myself, not a pleasant look at all look a bit like a chipmunk because the neck brace is basically pushing up my face but it's holding my neck still so that the vertebrae can heal. All this to say I've realized that one moment can really change your life and this is a reminder to me of how fragile life is. One foolish moment can change your life. So I was very lucky. I broke or fractured two bones in my neck, but fortunately I didn't end up paralyzed, which was the worst case scenario. Um, very fortunately, but I'm stuck in this neck brace now for um, probably six to eight weeks. So this is day one, lying in bed after the hospital and uh, the fall and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to last through the next basically six to eight weeks in basically this position. Now I am allowed to walk around but for the first two weeks I figure I'm going to play it safe and uh, basically stay in my prone position back down position. I can get up to go to the washroom and I every time I do get up to go to the washroom um, I've been doing a little bit of walking back and forth in the bedroom and a few little exercises just with my legs to keep them basically keep the muscles uh, from atrophying. So the interesting thing is that um, more than anything, I'm just mad at myself for doing something very foolish. I fell off a horse and didn't have a helmet on. Let that be a lesson to all of you who ride without a helmet. But it was just a moment of foolishness where I got on the horse and then the horse kind of was startled, started running forward and I ended up on the ground. I have no idea how I lost consciousness for at least a second just remember basically flying through the air and after that I remember getting up and saying to my husband I think I've done something to my neck and he popped me in the car and drove me to the hospital so uh, as I said moment of madness and here I am and I'm trying to figure out and I've been looking online to see whether other people have maybe made a YouTube clip who've been in this same situation can't really find anything other than uh, basically people who've talked about this collar and how they wore it and uh, so I thought I would just do kind of a video through this whole thing to uh, let people know how it's going and how you can really get through this. Um, I'm trying to be very positive and uh, I think I'll get through it. Um, but I need to keep myself mentally busy and physically at least as active as I can. So again, this is day one. I'll let you know how things are going. I've just changed my data plan so that I can actually watch Netflix without getting all the data overage charges. And if you're going to be stuck in your bed, lying in a neck brace, I would suggest that you definitely either have cable or make sure you have something to watch to pass the time because the days are going to be very long. I did get a concussion, so I don't really have great concentration. I haven't actually been reading yet, but my plan is definitely to do some reading uh, when, I, when I have the concentration to do that. So for all of you who end up in the same position that I am, no point in beating yourself up. What happened, happened. Uh, what you need to do, like I am, is move forward 
and uh, try and occupy your days. Try and keep as fit as you can mentally and physically. And uh, really that's the best that you can do and hope that the bones fuse and that in a couple of months you'll be able to put all this behind you. But in the meantime, uh, I'm just focusing on getting better. And one of the other things I've done is read up a little bit about bone healing. Um, I'm taking calcium, I'm taking uh, magnesium, I'm taking vitamin D, and I'm taking my normal B12, and of course I'm alternating Advil and Tylenol for the first, uh, at least the first little while. I'm not a big uh, pill taker, but I'm using Advil and Tylenol just to manage the pain. And uh, tomorrow I'll talk a little bit about uh, sleep challenges with the neck brace on. I'm a stomach sleeper. This is definitely uh, much harder for me to sleep on my back, but uh, it is doable and uh, talk a bit about that tomorrow.